decided to make a video. Uh, I got some used books that I wanted to mention in this video that I picked up yesterday and today. Today I volunteered at the library used bookstore from 10 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon. I did that on Saturdays, every Saturday. And today I I picked up this book. It's uh, called Yala. Yala. So Yala. It's a text by Paul Bowles, who's a very um, who wrote uh, lots of novels. He produced. He wrote the novel The Sheltering Sky. Uh, Spider's House. Uh, but these are photographs. This is, uh, came out in 1957. It's um, photographs of these desert people from Alger, Algerian Sahara. That's up here in Africa. Uh, I collect, I have books on biographies on Paul Bowles his writings, his letters. Uh, see, it's kind of like that. They're all black and white. He didn't take them. The, the fellow who took the photos was named Peter W. Let me see. Oh, I'll type it here. I got the Yahoo. His name was Peter H. A E B E R L N, which is Peter W. Haberlin. Haberlin. Peter W. Haberlin. That's who did the photographs. So I got that and uh, I picked up another book. This is a memoir called The Longest Road by Peter. Capri too? I can't pronounce that one either, so let me type it in here in the Google Translate. Philip His name is Philip Caputo. Caputo. Philip Caputo wrote this. I collect his writings. I've been I've shown them many times in videos. This is his memoir, the longest well it's a travel memoir. The Longest Road, Overland in Search of America from Key West to the Arctic Ocean by uh, this guy. Philip Caputo. Caputo is his name. And I picked up at the book nook today, The Flame Flower Throwers by Rich Rachel Kushner. This is a very, uh, got a lot of good reviews last year. It was a National Award finalist, 10 Best Books by New York Times Book Review, 2013. Picked that up. And I picked up two books by this fellow, if I can get his name. Oh, let me see here. His name is Chuck. E A H N M -A no N I U K Chuck Pulaniak. Chuck Pulaniak. He wrote uh, this novel, The Lullaby. His name is Chuck Pulaniak. Chuck Pulaniak. I also picked up his novel at the book nook today rant which is titled rant an oil biography of buster casey by this fellow chuck poloniak chuck poloniak and then i picked up uh an anthony burgess novel the wanting seed he was the author of clockwood orange i collect anthony burgess writings he wrote a tremendous amount of books and I'm always looking for his writings, which are hard to find, but 
this is a paperback. He wrote The Clockwork Orange, The Doctor is Sick, Honey for the Bears, The Long Day Wanes, Nothing Like the Sun, Rejoice, which is a, a literary study on James Joyce. He also wrote uh, a book on Jesus of Nazareth, which I have down, downstairs. So I got those today. And then, uh, no, yeah, today, yesterday, I went to a thrift store around the corner, just a couple blocks from where we live, and picked up this History of the Thirty Years' War by C.V. Wagewood. This has been reprinted in the New York Classic, New York Review Classic series, but this is an, uh, an older edition, which came out in 1938, first came out. Thirty Years' War, then I picked up John Updike's novel, Rabbit Run, which I have many copies of, but it was only 25 cents. Picked up Mark Twain, Roughing It, which is an autobiography, him going out to California, gold mining. Then I picked up this novel, the guy who wrote the, he wrote a very famous novel called The Oxbow, Oxbow Incident. This is, his name was Walter Van Tulberry Clark. This is his novel, The City of the Trembling Leaves. It says it's likened to Thomas Wolfe's Look Homeward Angel, which is one of my, one of my favorite novels by Thomas Wolfe. And I picked up classic Irish short stories, selected and introduced by Frank O'Connor. And then I picked up John Irving, the, the Cedar House Rules. Uh, Back in the 80s, I read a lot of John Irving. I used, uh, when we lived in Houston back in the 80s, when I did my ministerial internship in a Presbyterian church there in Houston, Texas, we lived in this neighborhood, and just a block away was the public library. And I would walk over there, and I went through a phase where I just went through John Irving's novels. And late, recently, I started collecting them again. And I found today, yesterday, well, yeah, yesterday, the Cedar House Rules, which I've read. And I found this book, uh, English Spiritual Writers, edited by Charles Davies. There's a chapter on here on The Cloud of Unknowing, which you know is one of my favorite spiritual writings. And there's also an article on Father Augustine Baker, who uh, I have books by him and our library. So I found that, English Spiritual Writers. And I found two novels by John Mortemeyer, The Rampo and the Beans Bungalow Murders, a novel. And I picked up his Rampo and the Reign of Terror by John Mortemeyer. Picked those up. I found a Bob Dylan Tarantula his book of poetry. I have this already, but it's only 25 cents. It had a sale. And I picked up D.C. Boyle's novel on Frank Lloyd Wright, The Women. I had this already, but if I see anything by D.C. Boyle, uh, Philip Roth, John Updike, Joyce Carol Oates, Trollope, I just buy them if they're really cheap and I give them away or I just have doubles of them. And then I picked up this novel by John P. I can't pronounce this guy's name. Let me type it in here in the Google Translate. His name is John P. R. Q. U. A. N. D. Let's see how I pronounce that name. John P. Markwind. John P. Markwind. He wrote this, the Wickford Point. I have this already, too, in our library. So I picked these books up. I got all these for about a dollar, two dollars and twelve cents uh, at the uh, thrift store. Uh, I got these books from the Book Nook for five dollars. <laughs> so you can't go wrong. at seven dollars for... Oh, how many books? 
seven dollars for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen books for seven dollars. You can't go wrong for that. Today in the mail, I got a biography on the poet W. H. Auden by Humphrey Car Carpenter. I collect uh, biographies by Humphrey, Humphrey Gar Carpenter. I didn't know until about a couple of weeks ago he did one on the poet W. H. Auden. I have his biography on Ezra Pound and Evelyn Wan. Uh, for those who are into J. R. R. Tolkien, he did a biography on Tolkien too, if you want to look into that. He also did one on uh, a, not, uh, a, 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 what is it called? It a, he did a, a, bi a biography on, and in this biography it's called The, Ink the Inklings, C.S. Lewis, J.R.R. Tolkien, Charles Williams and their friends. He did that. And uh, I've been reading, I read last night, Casanova, The World's Seductive Genius by Lawrence Graham. So that's what uh, books I, I got. I got another book in the mail on Pauline Theology by Michael Byrd. It's on the doctrine of imputed righteousness or the, the uh, I can't remember. It's on something like that. I don't have it with me. So that's what the books I wanted to show tonight. And tomorrow's a Sunday. Kind of quiet around here Saturday night. Not sure what I'm going to read. I was reading The Worlds of Herman Kahn, Intuitive Science of Thermonuclear War. He was a uh, he worked for RAND back in the 60s, planning a uh, strategy if there was a nuclear war or uh, uh, if the United States was attacked by nuclear weapons, how we were to survive, if we could survive, and how. So that's what's going, going on here. Uh, I don't have my diary with me. I put it away. And so, yeah. So and I suppose I'll close and... Till next week. Have a good next week. See you next time. Bye.